But before that, hundreds of people gathered in Sea Pauling on the Norfolk coast earlier to remember the dedicated coxswain of the local lifeboat. Sam Sheldon spent 27 years campaigning and working with the volunteer run service. Fellow members of the lifeboat crew accompanied his coffin through the village before carrying him into the church for his final send off. Tanya Mercer was there. Sam's final journey up to the boathouse to which he dedicated so much. His coffin proudly placed upon the lifeboat he'd helped raise money to buy. Sam was a very popular guy. He spent 27 years of his life with the lifeboat, was highly popular. Everyone who knew him liked him and he was a very active crew member and committee member of Sea Pauling Lifeboat. He couldn't help but like the bloke and he would be very sadly missed. Sam was a popular and active member of this small seaside community. He spent 27 years working and campaigning for the lifeboat. He was a local parish councillor, keen sailor and friend to the many who turned out to wish him goodbye. For a man who loved the sea and dedicated his life to saving people from it, it seemed only fitting he was brought here for one final look across the waves. He lived for the sea. And we wanted to, we, as the crew, we decided to bring him up the ramp so he had one last look at the sea. That was very special to us and it's been very emotional today to think of all the things he's done for us, which is a tremendous amount. Mick worked with Sam for 12 years. It was a conversation in the pub with Sam that persuaded him to join the lifeboat crew. He was so keen and enthusiastic and he just wanted you to break to get the very best that you could be and it was through Sam's energy and enthusiasm and the fact that he was able to cajoy people into parting with money um, that we are where we are now with a, a large boat, um, a second boat on its way and you know a good crew. Dozens lined the route as his coffin was taken through the village then the final route up to the church. There will be one more service to remember Sam, here on the shoreline by the boathouse he loves so much, before his ashes are scattered into the water. A final honour for a man who gave so much to his local community and helped save countless lives. Tanya Mercer, ITV News, C. Pauling. Right at quarter past six, it's time for the sport, and with football taking a back seat this weekend, another sport is making the news with Donnie.